Hey guys, today we'll be showing you how uh, to mod your uh, Guhong pieces to fit the Lubix Fusion torpedoes in them. Uh, I just got these t uh, today, which is August 22nd. I know this won't be posted today, but I got them, and um, I also got this nifty little uh, file that comes with uh, that doesn't come with it. You have to buy it with it. Uh, from Lubix, but that's very helpful. So if you're gonna buy the torpedoes from Lubix and you have a Guhong, I would suggest that you get this because it is quite handy. Um, and I'm glad I have it. So anyway, um, for starters, the there are two problems with the Guhong pieces. One, this opening is not uh, wide enough to fit the Guhong pieces in them, as you can see. Uh, it's not wide enough, it's just closed off. Let's see if I can even. No. See, I can't even get it in. Uh, so it's not wide enough. So, first thing, what I do is I stick the, uh, the file in, and I put it like this, and I And I, I push down as you're what you're doing is you're opening up right here and you're making this longer and square. Um, and you just there. there. So you make that a bit longer. Um, and then you push it against the sides. I know you can't really see it, but what I'm doing is I'm pushing it against the sides to make it wider. Uh, and I'm going to flip it over, which I could have left the thing in there, but then you do the same thing on the other side. Like that. If you see now, compared to this one, it's much bigger. Um, you can also sand the top just to go get away that extra, um, that extra flash that's uh, hindering it from uh, sitting. So now you have this big enough. Your next problem are... Come on. Ah, I wanna, just when I've gone into focus. Okay, so you see that flash right there. Well, that needs to go away. So what I've been doing is I've been holding it sort of like this. And since I don't have a chisel that is uh, small enough, like Donovan does, um, I'm going like this, and I'm, I know, I'm sorry, um, I'm pushing it, uh, kind of trying to chip it off. And then I hold it flat, so you can see that, and that just barely pushes on it. And that, is, you should be able to see now, that flash is almost gone, if not all the way gone. So then, again, I just go like this. And I am making this video one so everybody can see what exactly needs to be done, and two because Donovan doesn't have an HD camera. Um, it's hard for some people to see because it gets blurry when it comes up close. So, as you can see, there's no more flash, and it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much gone. Like this is what it looks like. This, if you can see that, see that little, there. This is a piece that doesn't need to be get done because that didn't leave any marks. Um, you can tell it's not that difficult. 
uh, you'll be able to know whether or not you need to cut out the flash or not. Uh, it's kind of annoying, I think. So let me do it on this piece. I mean, this isn't the most effective way, and it's not the way Donovan does it because he uh, he has to make lots of them and get them out to people on time. I don't. This is mine. So, I can do pretty much whatever I want, um, as long as it makes the pieces fit. So now, I make sure that I barely have any flash left in there. Um, then I take my piece, and I put it in there, and that's what it should look like. And then you take your other half. Oops, wrong. Nope, oh, that's right. Half. And I put it together. And you know it's done when these two halves fit together. Like that. And that's what it, your piece should look like. So again, one last time, I just want to show you. I put the thing in here and put it down. You have to push pretty hard and go straight down. So now it's a little bit longer. And then I go to the sides and to the other side. Okay. Like that. Okay. You can even go like this if you really feel inclined. And you go like this. If you want to, if you feel like you're not getting the sides enough, and you go like this, and then you can flip it over, and you go like this, and that will get the bottom here and the top here, and then you do this. So that's what it should look like. You then check the insides. The one on the right does not have anything that needs to be taken off. The one on the left does, so I'll take that off. And now you can see the difference. Stop moving camera. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this boom, in there. And it should fit about like that. This one and they fit together perfectly um, you can there's a little bit of space on the sides but that's not a big deal it doesn't move and now I have all of mine together and you can go ahead and assemble your cube and that's how I decided to mod mine uh, I know you can use a chisel but I don't have a chisel that size so if you get this thing it's quite handy I would suggest using it uh, and simple way to get your Guhong pieces in because they don't fit in normally. Lin Young fit in normally, you just pop them in and it's all good. So, thanks guys for watching. I hope this helped you out. And um, if anyone else is having any problems, share this with your friends. Uh, so, thanks for watching guys. See you later.